Well, some Providence school students rely on RIPTA buses to get to school, but there has been at least three examples just this last week where the buses heading toward those schools were canceled. So what's being done about it? Our 12 News reporter Matt Paddock joins us now with what all sides are saying. Sheena, it's becoming a regular occurrence in recent weeks. Providence school students unable to get to and from school due to ripped up bus driver shortages. Now the issue reaching a tipping point as local and state leaders are stepping in. Just this week, there were three days of disruptions to bus routes that take high school students to Providence Public Schools. After waiting and waiting, a bus never showed. But we are down roughly 30 drivers. Joe Cole, vice president of Union Local 618, says this has been an ongoing issue since the summer, but it's become a problem to the public eye since the school year got underway and students began to be affected. Summer months, we had a lot of issues. We had a lot of uh, uncovered work uh, all summer, you know, uh, 200, 300 uh, a day or a night, trips not being run for the total for the day. This didn't start as far as being an, uh, an issue until uh, September when the school kids were going back to school. Uh, and that's when uh, the governor you know, heard about what was going on. Governor Dan McKee releasing a statement on Thursday calling on RIPTA, saying the impacts to Providence school students and family is, quote, unacceptable. McKee says he was made aware RIPTA knew they wouldn't have enough drivers for the school routes prior to the start of school. The problem is, is after COVID, um, every, the dynamics changed across the country. So we have a lot of people or a lot of that don't don't want to do drive a bus. I mean, for whatever issues, I says, uh, and uh, the, the parameters to drive a bus are very strict. Cole says hires have been made and that drivers are in the process of being trained, but says the issue is time. It's too late. They should have been doing this two years ago, three years ago, prior to COVID. We all saw it coming, but they, they didn't want to uh, listen. And he blames management, specifically the non-union management at RIPTA headquarters, saying that there need to be more board members who were once drivers themselves. This is this is a family here to a point. I mean, we work all together. People across the street don't work with us. Um, it's a state police run place. We need transit people across the street and actually we need our people to start moving up to go across the street. It's a glass ceiling. We can't go any further than maybe a street supervisor mm. and that's sad. Ripta releasing a statement which reads in part, we believe that we are all in agreement that having a solid plan that allows our system to accommodate school trips regularly will benefit the Providence Public Schools and allow us to equitably serve all passengers. Now, RIPTA is coming out with a new schedule for bus routes next weekend that accounts for the driver shortage. Reporting in studio, Matt Paddock, 12 News.